Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and this is my guide on how to install mods for Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Fallout New Vegas Nexus homepage, which you see right before you here. This is the main hub for modding and Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 3 has a basically identical copy of this page, and uh, this is where any pretty much any mod you're going to want for the game is going to be stored. So just quick. Uh, points of interest on the home page. Uh, you're going to want to look at the top 100 if you're just looking for interesting mods. That basically holds all the different trending mods, recently popular ones, and that's a usually good place to find quality ones as the most popular ones are often, but not always the best. There's also a bunch of the random sex mods and stuff if, you, if you're into that stuff. I'm personally not, but uh, just a heads up. And you can also browse categories to look at all the mods by category, like weapons, companions, stuff like that. So what we're going to do uh, in this case is search for a particular mod as an example on how to install one. Type in right here the NCR and BOS Commander, and I have no idea why there's just an ad for the uh, Disney show. I don't watch Disney Channel, <laughs> in case you were wondering, but I've been getting barraged by that. Kind of odd that you'd advertise that on a Fallout 4 or forum. But anyways, we search. We'll get probably get a weird error message if my password has been any indication. But no, alrighty. And sorry about the lag. I'm using a different core and software. I can't really handle 1920 by 1080, so just uh, letting you know that's why it's uh, terrible. My apologies about that, but nothing I can do. So we select the mod here. And this is what every mod page on Nexus is going to look like, more or less. You've got options on the right. The description right here, which just lets you know basic stuff about the mod, you know, change logs, what it does, how to install it, things like that. So you're always going to want to look at this first and looking at a mods page. You need the files, which is where you download the mod itself. Images, pe the author can post images, people can upload them, likewise with videos, and then comments where you can discuss the mod. This also links directly to the forum thread. You can see some stats up here. So anyways, uh, to download the mod, you go to Files, and all the current versions you want from a mod will be right here. The main files are ones that are essential to the mod's operation. There's also a category called optional files that this mod does not have, which are things you can use that are maybe like bug fixes or enhances optional features that you don't necessarily need to run the mod, but they can enhance it or do different stuff. And then old versions, so the site keeps all the old versions uploaded, and typically it just doesn't uh, rec recommend downloading them because obviously they're old, so unless there's a critical bug or something in the new version, there's no reason to download these. So anyways, to download it, you just click on the name. A little window will pop up. You'll get a 30-second ad, or... Not in my case, because I've recently been on here. But you, you may get barraged by this awful Disney ad. It's just, oh my god, I hate it. And there's all different kinds of stuff. But anyways, typically, if you haven't recently downloaded a mod, you get a 30-second ad, and then it'll give you a choice of three servers right here. Washington, Seattle, New York, whatever. You pick from whatever one's closest to you, or pretty much anything. I don't really think it even matters that much. Then your file will download. And this downloaded very quickly, because as you can see, it's a 22 kilobyte of, uh, file, because it doesn't add any new textures things like that. It just uh, mainly uses files or, or stuff already existing in the game. So when it's done uh, downloading, what you need to do is then go to wherever your file is downloaded to, which is in my case my downloads folder. So we minimize, uh, go to my downloads, and we can now see the mod file, which is named this, has popped up in my downloads. Most of the names are usually a little more intuitive, like Electricity, Imaginator, those are two other mods, which are named a bit more like the mod itself, but uh, in this case, this one has just kind of a random name. So you notice that uh, the mod is a zip file. You don't actually need WinZip to install it or Win on WinRAR. Fallout Mod Manager will do all that for you, so don't worry about that. In some mods, you may have to unzip them, but uh, and that install manually, but most of the time, you won't need to. So then you're going to go to Fallout Mod Manager and open it, and oops, or have it already open in my case. Just got to close it out, sorry. Forgot I did. I've been trying to record this for like the past 10 minutes. It keeps uh, bugging. Anyways, this is the essential tool for modding Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. There's a Fallout 3 version as well. Do not try to mod the game without this. You can do it. It can be done. It's not impossible. But there's simply no reason to, just given how useful this tool is. Uh, and It'll make your life so much easier. It makes modding, ch or adding mods, rather, child's play. So never, never try and mod without this. This should be the first mod you ever download for the game. It will make your life way, way easier than installing all the mods manually, and it's got some great tools for fixing conflicts as well. So anyways, you can see that it displays all the ESMs and ESPs, which are basically the same thing. It's basically a fine distinction. Don't really worry about that. And all these are all the ones that I currently have installed and can potentially use. If it's checked, that means it's currently activated. If it's not checked, that means it's currently not. 
but it mean you can still check these in a moment's notice. And if you check it and then launch the game, or it says launch in the ESC because I have New Vegas Script Extender installed. But uh, that's what you'll do. You just check whatever ones you want. And then in order to add mods, you have to go to the package manager. And aside on NVSC, uh, I'll do a thing on installing that as well, but you need that to install some of the uh, mods out there. Mods will tell you if you need NVSC, you just go to its page, and that'll have instructions for installing it as well. But I'll do a tutorial on and installing that as well, possibly. So anyways, this is the package manager. This is where you manage which mods you have the files for installed, like the, the actual like file directories, texture packs, things like that. So you look at this, you can see all the ones I have installed. If it's checked, that means its files are currently installed and its ESP or ESM is an option on here, even if it's not actually checked. If it's unchecked, that means that they're not currently installed, and although you, you can reactivate them whenever you feel like they're not currently available for use by checking their ESPs or ESMs on this side. So you just scroll down here. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of different stuff. Then we're going to go to Add FOMA to add a new one. We select the NCR and BOS commander right here. Fallout Mod Manager will do all the unzipping for us and it'll install all it, does all the work. It's a great program, again, absolutely necessary to mod Fallout. Uh, you'll be, it'll be a huge pain in the ass otherwise. So then you click open. Uh, I usually don't do this, I may be stupid for doing that, so it's your call. If I'm being dumb for ignoring that, yell at me and I will make backups in the future, but I haven't had any ill effects from that yet. Then you see, you'll see it'll appear at the bottom, you're unchecked, you go to activate. And you'll notice that an overwrite will pop up because I'm overwriting a previous version I had installed earlier. If you're expecting these and you can just ignore them, but if you get one of these randomly when you're installing something you were expecting it, make sure to take a look at what it says because a lot of times, especially texture pack mods, will conflict with each other, so make sure you're not overwriting something you want to keep. So yes to all. We can see it's now installed. Uh, yeah, these error messages just pop up. Don't know what they mean. The mods still work fine, so I usually just ignore them. And you can see it's now checked, which means it is uh, able to be used. Its ESP now appears on the main page, so we can close out of Package Manager. And if you go to the main page, you can see NCR Commander's ESP now appears at the bottom, checked and ready to use. So that's the basics of mine. Really simple, really easy to do. Fault Manager makes it a breeze. But I just want to show you two really useful uh, and important tools in Fault Manager before I end this. The first is the load order report. Uh, you'll notice I have a lot of mods. Uh, that creates a lot of potential for conflict. What the loader report does is it displays an optimal list of mods that ordered to avoid conflict. Uh, this isn't always like a kind of a cast iron guide onto what you should and should not do with your mods, but it's generally pretty good. Uh, unless the mo a mod gives specific instructions to be installed, like say before or after a weather mod or something like that, and then you're going to want to just go by this. If you're getting a crash, the first thing you should do is go to the loader report. Clashes will happen. It's pretty much a fact of life modding, so if you get a crash, Go here, take a look, make sure anything is not glaringly out of order. That's the first step. A lot of times you can fix crash just by doing this. And then uh, kind of reorder everything as it suggests, and you'll be good. The other important tool is archive and validation. A lot of people I know, I had this problem as well. When you first download like, like a custom texture, or custom armor, something like that, you'll get a problem where the armor or the weapon appears as a red diamond with a glowing white exclamation point in it. That's very common, uh, don't worry. Basically, what you need to do is you need to activate Archive and Validation and Fallout Mod Manager. Because what that'll do is, it, the game, I'm not quite sure on the specifics, but it basically it doesn't recognize the files or something like that of, of custom stuff because it's not in the base game. So you have to activate this, and then what this does is, uh, it'll basically force the game to recognize your custom equipment, and you'll no longer get those red diamonds and text or white exclamation points, but you'll actually be able to enjoy the mod for what it is. So that's another very useful tool, a very easy problem solver for a lot of problem new mod or new mod users have, sorry. So definitely always give that a look if you ever get that problem. It may not always fix it, but make sure it's on. So yeah, that's all the basics to modding. Uh it really is very, very simple. Don't be discouraged. Don't think, well, you know or sorry, I shouldn't say modding. Adding mods, keep doing that. But anyways, don't be discouraged. Don't think, well, you know, that's too complicated. I can never do that. If you're playing on a PC you absolutely need to try mods. They're great. If you can use them at all, they enhance the game way beyond what it originally was capable of. You can do anything from just adding a cool gun you like to completely revamping the game, the difficulty, you know, companions, what it looks like, you know, all that stuff. Add huge new areas, tons of new content, equal to or greater than the, the DLCs out there. And it's absolutely phenomenal. It's a great modding community, so definitely at least check it out. Modding's not everyone's thing, but uh, 
it's very easy to do, and it's absolutely not just, you know, overpowered crap and, and sex mods and stuff like that, like ridiculous stuff, so there's a lot of, you know, really great mods out there that are they're balanced, their gameplay changes that just look good, stuff like that, that won't really dramatically even overhaul the game if you're worried about that, but will just make it what it is, but better. So, I hope this helped. If I it was unclear about anything, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me. If it was uh, very unclear, let me know. I'll remake it, uh, address your concerns. So, but yeah, it really is this easy. So, definitely don't be afraid. Try it out. It's great. A lot of fun. I've never regretted doing it. Makes the games awesome. So, this has been the Tunator. Hope this helped, and I'll see you all later.